Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Scary Discoveries Found Buried Underground It makes no sense at all, given our flight and fight tendencies, but humans have the primal urge to be terrified. We relish it. That adrenaline rush is something we actively crave. Explains why we pay big bucks to watch horror films, or why we visit haunted places, or most importantly, why you're here. We will warn you though, be wary of curses and haunted places. While science might argue that magic or voodoo is phony, there are still lots of stories of people who've gotten into grave trouble. You must like being scared and we like giving reasons to be, so here are 10 scary discoveries found buried underground. Number 10. Cinema Found in Paris Catacombs What could possibly be scary about a cinema, you may ask? In August 2004, police in Paris found the blood-curdling answer to that. While on a rather dull training exercise beneath the Palais de Chaillot in Paris, officers came across a fully furnished cinema and in an enormous unmapped underground grotto. Not creepy enough yet? When the police came back three days later with experts from the French Electricity Board in tow, they found all the phone and electricity lines had been cut. The only thing they found, and perhaps the strangest detail in all of this, was the note they found lying in the middle of the floor. It read, do not try to find us. So intricate was this operation that there was a full-sized cinema screen, projection equipment, a variety of films, none of which were banned or offensive, as well as a second cave next, which seems to have been used as an informal restaurant slash bar. To this day, the question remains, who would hide an entire private cinema in an unknown underground cave? So much for Paris being the capital of love, before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. 500 Year Old Inca Maiden in 1999, during a high-altitude excavation mission, scientists came across perhaps the most well-preserved mummy to date. I know what you're thinking. Mummies only show up in movies and they're hungry for human flesh. Well, not quite. This mummy, found high in the Andes Mountains, was so well-preserved and calm that visitors and even the scientists would find themselves whispering for fear of waking her. Found with the mummy was an odd assortment of extravagant gold, silver and shell statues, fabrics, pots that surprisingly still contained food, and even a flamboyant headband made of white feathers. The state of the body still evokes a weird mix of mystery and fear as well as sadness. She was preserved simply by deep freeze and not typically by embalming like the Egyptian mummies. Her organs, body, and even her clothes were still in perfect condition when she was found. It's almost as if the girl slept and never woke up. Number 8. The Cola Super Deep Borehole While this isn't the scariest entry on the list, it definitely should shake you to the core. No pun intended. I know the idea of an endless hole gives me cold sweats. The Cola Super Deep Borehole, fondly dubbed Well to Hell, was Russia's, then known as the Soviet Union, attempt at exploring the depths of the Earth. This kind of mission wasn't entirely new as other nations, including the US, had attempted it before. What stands out about this particular one is the outcome. Initially, they all hoped to find out what was going on at such great depth, but by the time the team hit serious depths, there were already technical issues. This led to the project being shut down and deemed a great success. The team managed to bore 12 kilometers into the Earth, a feat that has yet to be challenged to date. While there's been speculation about why the project was shut down, the simple and rather disappointing truth is that the equipment they had just couldn't stand the heat from the Earth's core. Or is it? Number 7. Cursed Cash You're in your garden picking broccoli and you come across the jackpot of a lifetime. $150,000! But there's a catch, as is always the case with these things. Your elderly neighbor then tells you the money is cursed and you have no idea how right she is. This sounds like a script for a horror film, but I promise, it's not. 
Wayne Sabaj, 51 at the time, was a lowly carpenter when he happened upon bags of cash on an afternoon in August 2011. He was due for a reimbursement in court on July 11th that would have seen him go home with half of the windfall, with the other half going to the neighbor. Dolores Johnson, Wayne's neighbor, also died before the mystery was settled. Johnson, who died in December at 87, reportedly told her daughter that she had gotten rid of the money because it was apparently cursed. How vaguely ominous. With the turn of events, it seems Dolores was right. The money was cursed. Sabaj succumbed to diabetes-related complications at his home a few days before the court date. On learning of his son's death, Sabaj's father suffered a cardiac arrest that same night and was hospitalized. Now if that doesn't scream cursed, I don't know what does. I'd listen to old women about cursed objects from then on. I bet about right now you're thinking you're lucky stars you didn't pick up that odd coin or note you found lying on the road. Or did you? Well, if you did, you clearly hadn't been paying attention. This next one will definitely change your mind. Number 6. The Visano Vase The Visano Vase tale is one filled with mystery and tragedy. The vase was considered to bring death to those who owned it with no exact explanation. What's mysterious is its origins and how it came to wield such evil power. Before you discredit this as a hoax, here's its story. The ominous vase was given to a bride on the evening of her wedding day in Napoli, Italy. Quite the wedding present if you ask me. It gets stranger. The bride didn't even make it to the altar. She was murdered that night with the vase still in her hands. Strangely enough, the vase remained in her family and was passed down generation after the other. The strange curse persisted, claiming the lives of anyone who took possession of it. It was only after a myriad of deaths that the family finally boxed the vase away. About time! In 1988, it resurfaced with a more than appropriate note that is said to read, Beware, this vase brings death. For reasons unknown, the note wasn't included when the vase went up for auction, and the man who bought it died only three months later. To prevent such tragedy from ever occurring again, it's claimed that the police placed the vase in a lead coffin and buried it on the grounds of an ancient cemetery where it cannot be found. Unlike other cursed objects, the Bassano vase isn't available for scrutiny for more than obvious reasons. Number 5. Crossrail Plague Pit Legend says that if you scratch the surface of a 2,000-year-old city like London, you're likely to find the stuff of nightmares. Over 350 years ago, London suffered its last major outbreak of plague. Hundreds of thousands of people passed away as the disease swept through the city. While excavating as part of work to build a new rail link across London, archaeologists found a former burial ground when they came across the plague pit. What was even more horrifying was the fact that this find might have unearthed dormant viruses, a fear that officials were quick to dismiss. Several thin wooden coffins were also found, although these had warped and gave the form of a mass burial pit rather than individual graves. Skeletons found at the site were analyzed and it was revealed that it was the bubonic plague that was the cause of the loss of lives. The bodies all appear to have been buried on the same day as there was a gravestone in the Bedlam burial ground dated 1665. This makes you wonder though, how many mass burial sites are sitting just below unsuspecting buildings and fields just waiting to be discovered? Number 4. Capuchin Catacombs There is something alluring in the ghoulish. Okay, hear me out. The Capuchin's Crypt in Palermo must be on your to-do list when visiting this city. Here's why. The Capuchin Catacombs hold the remains of over 8,000 souls with their disembodied shells propped up against the walls or resting in open caskets. Faces with skin slowly peeling off. Corpses in ghoulish poses as their bodies slowly decompose. Hollow faces with outlandish contortions, some with teeth and even mustaches still intact. Maybe even more horrific is the infant in a tiny coffin. Its young, innocent face nothing but a pile of crinkled skin. The most panic-inducing of them all is the monks dressed in hooded robes, like ghosts lunging at you from their eternal perch. And lastly, a nightmarish dose of an army of undead babies. This is that slow burn horror that haunts you well into old age. And isn't that the kind of adrenaline rush that all junkies could use? Number 3. Tolland Man The story of Tolland Man is one of violent loss of life and exceptional preservation. When his remains were uncovered by villagers in the town of Tolland, Denmark, so well was he preserved 
that they believed they were viewing a fresh murder victim so much that they called the local police to investigate. Bewildered by his appearance, the police asked scientist P.V. Glob to come and view the discovery. He immediately recognized this was an ancient burial and began efforts to remove the body for further study. The body was discovered with a rope wound around his neck, a sign that he had been hanged. This was commonly thought to be a sign of a ritual sacrifice. Upon reconstruction, there was one detail that came out as chilling as well as incredible. His face was so well preserved that you could clearly see the stubble on his chin, his eyelashes, as well as the wrinkles on his skin. Visitors can peer into the almost peaceful visage of this victim of ancient violence since the rope used to end his life still lies wrapped around his throat. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number two, North Korea's Unicorn Lair. This is one of those fantastical things we wish were true, but sadly is not. North Korean state media stated the discovery of the lair of a unicorn that was the property of an ancient Korean king. This was probably a dream growing up, but unicorns stay a preserve of the cinema. The report was propaganda geared at shoring up the rule of Kim Jong-un. Weird, right? But then again, this wouldn't be the weirdest thing this leader has done. North Koreans don't take the report literally, but rather see it as more symbolic, celebrating their own identity. It boosts their morale. So sadly, no, fantastic horse beasts that fly and throw up rainbows don't exist and, admittedly, that breaks my heart. And even if they did, do you see how hideous that thing looks? Number 1. The Terracotta Army What would be your immediate reaction if you happened upon a colossal, and I mean colossal, underground tomb filled with life-sized clay sculptures? My immediate reaction would be to make a run for it. These Chinese farmers, however, had a different idea, and there was a grave price to pay for it. In 1974, the ill-fated farmers were digging a well when they found what would become one of the most astounding archaeological discoveries to date, the enormous 2200-year-old terracotta army, an army of 8,000 statues said to guard the emperor in his afterlife and protect his tomb. Here's where things started to go awry. The farmers were apparently cursed for disturbing the place. Wang Posi, one of them, committed suicide in his home when his family was away to avoid being killed by a terrible disease. Seeing as he had no money to pay for medicine, while two of his counterparts died jobless, poor and young. A weird twist after what one would have assumed would be a windfall. The find, while being monumental for China, brought only misery to those who found it. The Chinese government seized their lands and laid waste to their homes all in the name of properly digging up this army. This not only affected these men and their livelihoods, but also destroyed the entire village. Some believe that all the misfortune that befell them was similar to the curse of King Tut's tomb. I guess the valuable lesson we learned today is not to go digging into places we have no business exploring. 